Hello kids, we have already learnt number 1 to number 5. So today's topic is number 6 to number 9. So what we will learn today? Today we will learn how to count number 6 to number 9 and how to write number 6 to number 9. Let's start. So for that, today I have brought something interesting for you. Do you want to see that? Okay, let's start. Now see children, what are these? Yes, these are ladybugs, right? You have learned already that L for ladybug, right? So, these all are ladybugs. These all are ladybugs. Can you see the black spots on the red ladybugs? Yes, I'm talking about these all black spots. So now, I will count these black spots. I have four ladybugs. I have four ladybugs. Now, let me count how many black spots each of the ladybug has. First, let me count this one. So, how many black spots this ladybug has? One, two, three, four, five, six. This ladybug has six black spots. So, let's spell six. S, I, X. Six. Next, I will count this ladybug. This ladybug has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven black spots. This ladybug has seven black spots. So let's spell seven S E V E N seven. Next, I'll count this one. So, how many black spots this ladybug has? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, this ladybug has 8 black spots. This ladybug has 8 black spots. So, let's spell 8. E, I, G, H, T, eight. So next I will count this one. So how many black spots can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this ladybug has nine black spots. So let's spell nine. N I N E 9 So I have 4 ladybugs and this ladybug has 6 black spots This ladybug has 7 black spots This ladybug has 8 black spots and this ladybug has 9 black spots So 6 7 8 and 9. Now we will learn how to write number 6 to number 9. So first we will start with number 6. So how to write number 6? First we will make a right curve. It will join with the small left curve. A right curve will join a small left curve. A right curve will join a small left curve. So like this we can make number 6. And always you have to touch the below line. So next is number 7. So how to write number 7? One sleeping line 
and a slanting line makes number 7. One slipping line and a slanting line makes number 7. Slipping line and slanting line. Next is number 8. So how will we write number 8? First right curve, then a left curve, again a right curve and a left curve. Yes, again I am writing. A right curve, then a left curve, then a right curve, again it will join with the left curve. Right curve. Left curve, right curve and a left curve. This is how you can make number 8. So next is number 9. So how we will write number 9? A right curve joined with the standing line. A right curve joined with the standing line. A right curve join with the standing line. So like this you can make number 6, number 7, number 8 and number 9. And you have to practice it at home. Till then stay safe and learn with me. Thank you.